Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Whether you saw the Barbie movie or not, I think we can all agree that Barbie mania is everywhere. And in the past two weeks, you've probably seen a lot of beauty content creators, including myself, post Barbie makeup tutorials. Mine happened to be a 60 second short that I will link in case you missed it, but it's actually gotten at the time of me filming this video over 90,000 views. And I filmed that video before I actually saw the Barbie movie. And let me tell you, there is a significant difference between the Barbie makeup tutorials that are being posted and what you see in the actual Barbie movie. What I really loved about Margot Robbie in not only the movie, but also at the movie premieres that she's been going to, her makeup is what I would call effortlessly beautiful. As I watched the movie, and as I looked at the photos from the movie premieres, I couldn't help but think her makeup looks perfect. And of course, she's drop dead gorgeous, so she could wear anything and look amazing. But I love how her makeup artist, Patty Dubroff, who does her makeup for the movie premieres, always just seems to bring out her features and just make her look, I think the way we all want to look, just beautifully enhanced. And her makeup artist for the movie, Ivana Primorak, or Primorak, I apologize if I butchered her last name, she also went with this effortlessly beautiful look for Barbie. So what I'm going to show you today is how to achieve that effortlessly beautiful Margot Robbie look, which by the way, I feel is perfect for all ages. So for this video, I have done all the researching for you. I read dozens of articles, scrolled endlessly through social media to find out what the exact products were used in both the movie and on the red carpet. Now, if you did see the Barbie movie, you probably noticed that there is a lot of Chanel in the movie. Handbags, clothing. Well, Margot Robbie has been a Chanel ambassador since 2018, hence why she wears a lot of Chanel on the red carpet. A lot of the makeup that Patty uses on Margot for these premieres is from Chanel. Now, on the set of the movie, Ivana requested a lot of makeup from Lisa Eldridge Cosmetics. From what I've read, Lisa's brand supplied the movie with endless amounts of foundation, highlighter. If you noticed in the movie, the focus was really on cheeks and lips. There wasn't much eyeshadow. And I also found out that in the movie, no false eyelashes were used at all, just a really good mascara, which I will be telling you about shortly. But I think I've done enough talking. Let's get into the makeup. The products you'll be seeing are a mix of what Ivana used in the movie and what Patty uses on Margot for the premieres. So for foundation, you want to use a light weight skin tint. Here I am using Fenty's Ease Drop Skin Tint. You can also use the new one from Maybelline, the Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. That one actually offers a little bit more coverage than the Fenty. For the majority of the Barbie premieres, Patty used Chanel Le Beige's foundation. Margot obviously has perfect skin. So for this entire look, you're going to want to tweak things for your specific skin condition and your specific skin type. And if you're someone who applies a skin tint and feels like it's not enough coverage, you can go ahead and spot conceal with a facial concealer and you should be just fine. The whole point of this look is for skin to look like skin. That is something else I read about the makeup for the movie was that Ivana wanted the skin to look just naturally beautiful. At first, she thought she wanted the skin of all of the Barbies and Kens to look plastic. Right before they started filming, she decided, no, I want the face to look just really glowy and beautiful and natural. And then the body we can really perfect, not so that it would look plastic, but she did something special on the elbows and the knees to make them look extra smooth. She also said that they created a custom body makeup and I searched everywhere to figure out what it was made of, but no one has spilled the beans yet. But apparently each person had a custom body makeup that would not transfer onto the costumes. 
I so badly want to know what this combination was. If anybody finds out, please let me know. And then I think most of us have some dark circles we want to cover. So here I'm using an inexpensive concealer that is amazing, especially for mature skin. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. And then Patty goes over Margot's makeup with a light dusting of Chanel powder. I don't have that powder that she uses. I'm just using one from Charlotte Tilbury, my favorite airbrush flawless finish powder. And then both Patty and Ivana did some light bronzing on Margot's skin and they use the Chanel Soleil de Tan. I believe Patty uses the medium one. Unfortunately, I only have the old version that I think only came in one color. This one is just, yeah, Soleil Tan de Chanel Bronze Universal. So I think it was universal for everyone. But now they have a light, a medium, and a deep. So you just wanna do a light bronzing with a cream bronzer. There's no heavy contouring involved here. There's no powder bronzer involved here. The majority of the products you're going to see in this video are cream. So now we're going to move on to the brows. Patty used this brow pencil from Chanel called Boy de Chanel in the shade Light Brown. Unfortunately, this brow product is only available on the Chanel website or possibly in Chanel boutiques. You cannot go to a Chanel counter and purchase this product. Now, in watching some of Patty's recreations on Instagram of Margot's makeup, she often uses a brow pen, one of those brow micro filling type of pens. She uses a brand that I actually had never heard of that I don't think you can get in the United States. So for this look today, I'm using this pencil from Valentino. Actually, it's not just a pencil, it's a brow trio. And what I love about this is that it has everything you need. It has the spoolie, then you have the pencil that looks quite similar to the one that Chanel makes. And then on this side, you have that little brow marker for making those hair-like strokes, which for me, I need towards the front of my brow because I have no brow growth right in the front. Okay, now we're gonna talk about eyes. As I think I mentioned earlier, both the character Barbie and Margot's looks on the red carpet have very minimal eyeshadow. Well, at least the majority of them do. The focus is typically on the cheeks and the lips. For the London premiere, from what I read, Patty only used one eyeshadow. But in other cities' premiere photos, I did notice that there was some variation in the shadow looks, but none of them were over the top dramatic. There was no real heavy smoky eye being done. This look was very just clean and subtle, but with some shimmer on the eyes. So for my recreation, I'm using three cream eyeshadow sticks from Rare Beauty. I love these because they are just so easy to use. They are basically goof proof. First, I'm taking the shade Contentment and putting that all over my lid from lash line up into the crease and then blending it out with a brush. For a little definition on the outer corners of my upper lash lines, I'm using the shade Compassion and then using another small brush to blend that out. And in several of the articles I read, Ivana mentioned that she always, always highlighted the inner corners of Margot's eyes. She wanted a lot of sparkle in this area that would catch the light. So I'm using the Rare Beauty All of the Above Weightless Eyeshadow Stick in Wellbeing, not only on the inner corners of my eyes, but also all over the lid. And then once again, you can blend it in with either your finger or a makeup brush. And then I took the shade Contentment again and ran that along my lower lash lines for definition. Now, I think I mentioned this earlier, but in the movie, no false lashes were used. Just mascara, which was the Chanel Le Volume Mascara. I used this when it first came out and I remember really, really loving it. And if I remember correctly, the only reason why I stopped using it was because of the price. It is a very, very expensive mascara, but I went out and bought it specifically for this video. I went out and bought several products specifically for this video so that I could use some of the exact products that either Patty or Ivana used on Margot. So when I used this again for the first time after not using it for years, I thought to myself, oh gosh, I wish this mascara wasn't so expensive because it really is so, so good. But once again, referring to this look, which is probably my favorite look done by Patty. Again, this was at the London premiere. Patty used Lashify. 
she seems to love Lashify. And if you don't know what Lashify is, it is an at-home lash extension product. It's been around for maybe four or five years and you use a bonding glue and then apply the lashes. The gossamers is what they're called. You apply those underneath your lashes. And then I think you use another product that's like a sealant and they're meant to last for like a week or two. And I've always been intrigued by Lashify, but I was never willing to put out the money, make that investment because it's not a cheap system. However, it is much cheaper than getting lash extensions all the time, which I have never done and I really don't advise anybody doing because everyone I know who's ever gotten lash extensions has ultimately said that they regret it because they really damaged their natural lashes. And I really hope no lash extension lovers come after me for saying that. It's just the experience that I have kept hearing about over and over and over. So that's what I'm basing my opinion on. But I digress. Since I do not have Lashify, and I think I forgot to tell you why, I haven't tried it. I have a lot of sensitivities when it comes to lash glue and even some eye pencils and eyeshadows. So I've always been afraid to put out the money and have a reaction to either the bonding product or the sealant. And the last time I checked, they don't take returns. So I would be out all of that money. But recently, Velour Lashes sent me their version. But unfortunately, I lost the adhesive that you are supposed to use with this, which is similar to Lashify that you apply underneath the lashes and then you take these little segments and then attach them underneath your natural lashes and you can wear them for a week. But because I cannot seem to find the adhesive, I applied two clusters to the outer corners of my lashes using just the regular lash glue and I think they look so, so natural. I'm gonna look around my house one more time, but if I cannot find the adhesive you're supposed to use to apply these under the lashes, then I'm just going to go buy it. I just think they are so, so pretty. Okay, now let's talk about cheeks. There were, on the set of Barbie, 50 different lipsticks and 30 different blushes on set every day for Margot to go and choose from. And as I said earlier, the majority of the lip products were Chanel or Lisa Eldridge. I do not know what brands the blushes were, but I can tell you, Patty uses a lot of Chanel, a lot of nude sticks. She loves nude sticks blushes. And in one of her more recent Instagram tutorials, she used Pinch Me Pink from Makeup by Mario, which is what you see me applying here. This is a beautiful, beautiful cream blush. The problem for me is it doesn't last as long as I would like, unfortunately, so I do top it off. This is Makeup Revolution's Blusher Reloaded in Pink Lady. You can use any Barbie pink blush of your choice. There are so many out there now. Unfortunately, the blush Patty used for my inspo pick, which I think is now the third time I'm showing you this, possibly the fourth, it was a Chanel blush that we cannot get here in the United States. It's called Rose Glacier, Rose Glacier, Rose Glacier. It looks just like a light shimmering Barbie pink, which I think a lot of us might already have in our makeup collection. In addition to the Chanel Le Volume Mascara being a staple in both makeup artists' kits, this Balm Essential from Chanel is also a staple in their kits and was used on both the set of the movie and on the red carpet. This truly is a stunning, stunning highlighting product. It's ultra creamy, it's not glittery, it's not sparkly, it just brings that beautiful, healthy, youthful radiance to the cheeks. And remember I said it's all about the glow. In one of the articles I read, it stated that they used this product, that Ivana used this product in Margot's laugh lines. And Margot's only 33 years old, probably 32 at the time she filmed this movie. So maybe that worked for her, but I don't know. I've been looking around in different mirrors and I don't love it in my laugh lines, but I do love it on my cheeks and on the bridge of my nose. And I also added a little bit to my tear ducts and underneath the brow. Yes, it's pricey, but I will be on the hunt for a good alternative for you. I do have this one from Nude Sticks called Ice Ice Baby, but this one isn't that much less expensive. But this is also very, very stunning if you want to save a little bit of money. So all we have left to complete Margot Robbie's effortlessly beautiful makeup look is 
a great lip combo. I don't know what's going on with Chanel lip pencils, but I'm thinking that they're being discontinued because they are all completely out of stock everywhere I have looked. But I could not get my hands on Beige Naturale that Patty uses on Margot, so I just use this inexpensive lip pencil from Revlon. It's in the shade Nude. And in my little Chanel Margot Robbie haul, I purchased one of the lipsticks that I read was used on set in at least one of the scenes, and that is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in number 69, Abstraight. I bought it sight unseen, and I'm using it here for the very first time, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It is truly a fantastic Barbie-esque color without being over the top. Over the top of this lip combo, I put a Lisa Aldridge lip gloss, the only one I own in the shade Charm, on top. And this was the completed look. Now you might be thinking, Risa, that lip looks a little bit darker than the one you currently have on. Well, that's because another favorite of Patty's that she uses a lot on Margot for the red carpet, and she also used on Sophia Ritchie for her wedding day, that would be this lipstick, the Rouge Coco Balm in 928 Pink Delight. This is in fact a beautiful color, but it is quite light. It's a little unimpressive on its own. So I went again and added some more Lisa Eldridge Charm. This gloss is amazing. So I actually love both combos, the darker and the lighter. The last product I wanna show you is one that I read was the most used hair oil on set for when the actors and actresses hair got dry. Apparently they went through bottles and bottles of this Virtue Healing Oil. It protects shines and mends and oh my gosh does it smell incredible you're supposed to shake it up so i'm shaking it up even though i already used some i'm going to add a little bit more this oil i don't know where it's been hiding i've used other virtue products and i have enjoyed them so i don't know what took me so long to try this oil but it is game changing it adds shine it takes down frizz and apparently it has uv protection and have I mentioned it smells incredible? Okay, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I recreated Margot Robbie's effortlessly beautiful makeup look using products that were actually used in the Barbie film and on Margot on the red carpet. All of the products will be listed and linked down below in the description box. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them for me in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do post new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.